Hello friends, and welcome to Fright Night Files. Today we are checking out a game called Alone in the Dark. It's an old classic from the 90s, but this is a remake. And I get scared easily, so... Expect me to scream. <laughs> Maybe. Without further ado, let's check out the game. I think we'll play on uh, standard, yeah. Difficulty guidance, what? Extra help provided to make the experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. What do we want to do, guys? I, I think we'll do modern, yeah? I don't know anything about this game, I'm going completely blind into it. I played the old one back in the 90s. When I was just a kid. And if I remember correctly, it was pretty, pretty creepy. Alone in the dark. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. He says a dark man is following him. Watching him at all times. What do you make of it? It's nonsense, of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. Looks a little bit like a Mafia family. 1, the game, you know? No, detective. I mean, the characters. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. But Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to get him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. That people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. Yet here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Kirby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. First things first. Choose character. Do you want to be female? Emily Hartwood. Or do we want to be Edward Carnby? I think maybe we will do several playthroughs, you know, with that difficulty uh, stuff and with different characters, yeah? Comment down below if you want me to do that. And if you, at any point, decide that you like the video and this game, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, please comment it down below and I will thank you personally. 
Let's choose Edward Carnby for this first playthrough, at least. Because he got a gun. And I guess we might need it. Hello? 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 Looks abandoned. Hello? It can't be. There has to be someone around. Wait here. I'll go around back. Chapter one. Here we are. Okay, it's the third person game. Look for a way inside the house. We will. All the graphic settings are set to epic, but this is as good as it gets. Okay, have to find a way inside. I like the graphics in this game. This looks this looks amazing, man. Look at the light. See if you can find a way inside. Don't we have a flashlight or something? It's too dark in here. I can't see anything. Yeah. Don't look like we have a flashlight. Hello? I need the key. Need to find a key. Need to find the key. The key to my heart. Where do we find a key? Let's have a look around. Probably nothing there, yeah. Where would we hide the key? I don't know. What? There's nothing I can interact with. So. Okay, something over here. Now what do we got here? Flashlight, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, it's a clue. And we found the key. Kitchen garden key. Awesome. Awesome stuff, man. Okay, let's see if we can get into the house. Here we go. What was it called? The, the Decreto Manor? I think it was, yeah. Bullets for our pistol. Some stuff. Hello? Was in here? Oh, probably need a key nah, for this as I'm well. Not getting in there. Nope. Talk to this old woman. Hello, Mrs. Miss. Oh, it's a statue. <laughs> but I thought it was a a woman. You want to go down to the well? Let's have a look around first, yeah. Hello? 
Jeez. Told you, I get scared easily. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome, man. I love horror games. I think this is more of a psychological horror. Hmm. I need the key. Need another key. It's a note. Can we read it? No. Okay. We have a drink. Let's get drunk! Party! Can't get up there. Okay, where would we hide a key again? Under some plants or something, yeah? Under a rock? What is that whispering, man? Housekeeper's key. Awesome. Housekeeping. Use it. Find the front door and let Emily Harwood inside. Will do. Mind if I do? Don't mind if I do. Let's get drunk. Party! A uh, Bible? A Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I am going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte... I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and voodoo? I carry around a small pocket of gris, gris Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French quarter priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Yeah, Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil's shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seventy-five cents, madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? I don't know. Uh, you must have misheard me, madam. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Now please, leave my store. A goat without horns? What the F is going on? Okay. 
voodoo magic going on. Hello? Let's have a look around. A lot of bullets lying around, yeah? In weird places. Who hides bullets around like this? <laughs> There's so many ways to go. This is a big ass manor. Bullets, awesome stuff. Wonder what the, those drinks are for, you know? Is it health? Sanity? I don't know. Streetcar ticket. Oh, there it is. Lacniapis. Never heard that word before. Yeah, I guess these are collectibles. Okay, we are a uh, PI. Lagnaps are non-essential items that you can find throughout the game. Completing sets will uncover forbidden knowledge, and sometimes even more. Lagnaps carry over from game to game. Some sets can't even be completed without playing both of Carnby's and Emily's campaign. Awesome, so it is two different campaigns. That gives this game some replayability. The key. You want me to continue to play this game, you know? Comment down below. Leave a like so I know that you want to see more. And if you have uh, other suggestions on other horror games that we could play, tell me. I might check them out. So many doors. Where should we go? I don't know. Sabotage. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. All right. Oh, it's a puzzle. Yeah, I probably need to find you know, these missing pieces, I guess. That doesn't look safe. I'm not walking through there, that's for sure. Rogan Val. Not yet, I guess. I have to find, you know, maybe those pieces and the handle for the valve. was another door on the other side here. We have a piggy. A dead piggy. Kinda getting hungry now. Rat poison. Okay, that's a lagniap. <laughs> I don't know. What was that? Hello? What was that? More drinks? You know it. We need it. You want to stay sane in this place? Okay, I think the... Hello? Is that the door slamming? 
think so. Let's go upstairs. We have to let Emily in, yeah. Emily! Emily! Bullets? No. Okay, now we know we are not a vampire. We have a reflection. Is this the front door? Library. Not the mm. front door. I need the key. Yeah, I guess we need to find a lot of keys. The key finding game. There's Seto floor plans. Can we read it? Oh, yes. Awesome. Okay, we have puzzles. Solvable, explored, completed, locked door, unlockable, bought the door, blocked door. Yatsaki. Nice. Nice. We have. Didn't we just get the key for this? I guess not. Didn't it say Piazza key? More drink. More party. I guess there will be a lot of lore and history. Sunday, June twenty second. I spent hey, all that's day my birthday. I should have cared for the that's others, my birthday. but I'm scared that he will do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. Oh, they must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rock permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Okay. I am so looking forward to when the horror begins. Hold I to open the map. The map is updated with information about the world, including locked doors and unsolved puzzles. The map. Okay, where? I think we have to go here, yeah? To open the door for uh, Emily. What are these? It's a bolted door and a locked door. Okay. But is. We have to get here, yeah? can't see which way I am turning, but that's the staircase, okay. Let's go and let Emily in, if we can. Is this where we came from? I have to go that way some somehow. Oh. Oh. I need the key. I need a lot of keys, man. Got a key to my heart. This is the wrong direction, yeah? Yeah, this is for the reception, clerk's office. I guess we should find some keys around here. Yeah? Yeah. 
tiny post. I don't know how to pronounce the any Great of this. Depression. <laughs> President Hoover raises tariffs on over 20,000 imported goods in an act to protect American labor. Following the collapse of the Wall Street stock market on October 24 last year, American industry has suffered greatly. Thousands of companies have gone bankrupt and left a large part of the American workforce unemployed. In an attempt to turn the tide, the Smoot-Hawley Tariff Act has been signed by President Herbert Hoover. By regulating commerce with foreign countries, the government hopes to encourage the industries of the United States to compete with cheap foreign imports. Superstition on Rise New Orleans voodoo stores and spiritual mediums see increased profit during troubled times. While the market has faced hard times ever since More Black voodoo. Thursday of last year, voodoo doctors and snake charmers see significant rise in number of customers. With the coming eve of St. John on the 23rd, the police expect increased cult activity around Bayou St. John, the southern shore of Lake Pontchartrain. Voodoo rituals in that area on the eve of St. John have a long tradition reaching back to the first snake worshippers brought as slaves from West Africa. During the 19th century, its practice was popularized by the legendary Marie Laveau and has since been embraced by many of the Creoles and the surviving aristocracy of the French Quarter. Author Seeks Asylum Rumors regarding author Cassandra Beauregard making Dorsetto her home verified. Dorsetto Hospital is an old plantation building on the eastern shores of Lake Pontchartrain. While often considered an asylum for the insane, residing Dr. Elmore Lee Gray prefers to think of it as a convalescent home, a place where you can go to rest. The patient list is kept secret, but thought to include many of the black sheep of wealthy families, because at Dorsetto, treatment does not come for free. Local author Cassandra Beauregard has now been confirmed by her own admission. She's been lauded as a powerful Creole voice and written many successful books. Lately it was reported from Hollywood that she has finished a moving picture manuscript titled moving Slaughter picture Gulch. That film is set to hit the theaters next year. Uh, that inf any information that we need? Not really, I guess. Rubber stand. Okay, not their lagni app. I don't know how to pronounce that. Hello? Hmm. I need the key. Yeah, of course you do. At the end of this game, he will have his pockets and ass full of keys. I don't think we can get any further. This direction. Hello. Do we want to go upstairs? <coughs> or do we want to find a way to let them inside? Here we go. What are you doing? Who are you? Whoa, pardon me, excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy, am I right? She has that Hartwood gloom, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. You will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? He's lost. Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. The coffee. Keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just 
let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? It'd be easy to get lost in a manner like this. I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? I think wait, she minds. you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, it's the first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. She's not happy we're here. Look around, see if we can dig up any clues. Let's do exactly that. Third Jeremy's room for clue. Will do. I can't use, I can't do anything here. So need to find keys. You have to move this around, yeah, to the puzzle. It's a puzzle. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity, staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he? Struggled for his life. Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Signora Pierosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Seems conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Signora. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulchre where you may rest, and I shall weep. Tell me in the comments down below if you want me to know to listen to all of this. I will listen, but... Or do you want me to... Uh, to just go through it? I think this is interesting. This is the game. This is the lore and the story. I don't want to read anymore? Or do I have to press play? How did you first yeah. come to understand such things, Signora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical Some of these are would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor. What Those does that are mean? my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see Tarawaya? Oh, I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. Despite having sold me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. Next. The people of Deceto are becoming dangerous. They do not understand what they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? 
The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. All will be Voodoo. lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. Oh. Sacrificed himself. Okay, there's nothing on page five other than... Oh, I guess this is uh, those puzzles, yeah? Can we take it? Yep. This is how, you know, that puzzle we just saw. Or this uh, piece of the puzzle. Yeah. That is for this over here. Red? Red? Okay. Now we can move them around. Select these. Must be here, yeah. Oh, and like so. Here we go. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? Kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out? I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. Save this one. He looks scared. That's it. Have you seen a ghost? All right. Come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Something's gone on. It can't be. Come Edward? on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. What's going on? I don't know. Miss Hartwood. Emily? It's about to go Where down. Am I? So this was like a prologue for what is yet to come. This was episode one. Please leave a like and subscribe if you liked the video. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss episode number two. And of course, again. If you decide to subscribe, comment it down below and I will thank you personally. Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye bye.